okay, we got the training in. It's, uh, it was a little difficult. I had it on the jack, which it was falling off, and uh, I used my, uh, I got underneath it, and I used my legs, and I pushed, and I, you know, it was kind of like doing a reverse push-up. So, and I got it in part of the way. I got it in enough to put the bolt in. I was kind of concerned because I didn't want the uh, the shaft to misalign or, you know. So I was kind of wary at first of putting the bolts in, but um, I put the bottom two in. I started to turn them. They went in nice and easy. You know, I shoot. You know, while I was shaking it around. You know, I felt it slip in. I think twice. So that uh, that was a good sign. So yeah, it was about a half an inch left, and I could put the bolts in. I tightened the bottom two, and then I put another one up on the side, and they all went in easy. So I'm thinking it's okay. I mean, there's no way to 100% know. Um, I was looking online and it said that um, because of the bearing that's in there, there's still pressure on that throwout bearing, pushing it out. So um, when I start to shove it in, I'm also pressing in the throwout bearing. So that last bit was pushing on it as well. So that, that can account for that. Very hard to push in by hand. Um, so, anyway, I just uh, cross my fingers and hope that it's, that it's good. I guess we're not going to find out today. I'm exhausted. Um, I've, got, I've got the jack here. It's supporting the rear. <clears throat> supporting the rear of the tranny. There it is. And then up front it's bolted in at least by three bolts that are holding it. <clears throat> I'm gonna put more in. Oh, it's windy. Um, so I'm just gonna pick up my stuff and then call it a day. I wish I could do more but I'm just uh, kinda stupid right now. Um, so I just have to uh, you know, and after I finish bolting it in, I gotta hook up the starter. But you can't see that right now. I took out uh, a couple other things too on the way. I undid the oxygen sensor and oh, I got a couple of things hanging out there. I right, took off the this the side this uh, splash guard uh, fender splash guard over here on the passenger side so that I could get to the master cylinder so I you know I didn't feel like disconnecting the slave cylinder and dealing with bleeding it and all that other crap so I just uh, disconnected this and just pulled the line you know was able to free this line up and it was able to move with the tranny so I don't have to deal with that I just hope I don't regret it later when I uh, that the slave cylinder is going to last <clears throat> I just couldn't deal with that on top of what I was doing already so for my first time so I know we're getting there we're very very close so I'll try to work on this tomorrow I have to uh drill drill a larger hole in one side of this cross member. Get my new bolt in there. Should have hold it snug. So that's it. <laughs>